Yep. We're ready to go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ready to talk movies and one that we're not the only ones talking about. Uh, Meryl Streep is in this one. Mm -hmm. Who else? Is it Nicole Kidman? Nicole Kidman, Andrew Reynolds, uh, James Corden. It's The Prom. This was a 2018 Broadway musical that is now on the screen. This is directed by Ryan Murphy, if you know from American Horror Story and Glee. This is about uh, two actors that kind of just got panned in the reviews for their latest musical. It's almost as bad as like what the producers essentially tried to put on. Like springtime for Hitler, it's the worst thing you could possibly do. And so they're getting panned by the critics. They need something to bring back their credibility. And they see a cause that's happening down in a, in a rural town where a uh, prom is being n not allowed for a student that wants to take her girlfriend to the prom. So they see this as their way to jump on the bad wagon for this cause. They, they come down to the south and drove saying, we're liberals and we're here to free this area and, and make sure that she's able to get to her prom. And, and, it, and they're clearly doing it just to like build up their own reputation. But um, it's, it's a musical. I had no idea it was. So when I clicked on it and watched it, a surprise musical is great for me. Like I'll always take one. And so in this case, they, they did great with it. The performances are awesome. The music is catchy. I still have a song that's been stuck Do in my you head. Really? Mm -hmm. Is it high school musical esque or a little more adult? A, a lot. I would say a lot more steered towards Glee. Like Ryan Murphy did a lot of stuff in regards to like student drama, uh, young teen drama, and he he's able to use that with this. The music is, it's toe tapping and the, and the characters are really like heartfelt. You see a lot with them. James Corden is just fun to watch too. Mm -hmm. Like he makes it fun. And then Nicole Kidman, she's been doing the undoing and this is a lighter role for her. Uh, her role is kind of, she kind of turns cheek at some of the roles that she's done before and is, and is like playing along with it, making fun of herself in, in a good way. And, and she has some great like Chicago style songs that are really good in this too. So you give it a thumbs up? Oh yeah, definitely go and check this All right, one out. So watch this one. And then also the Kristen Stewart, that this one's been out a little bit on Hulu. Did you like her acting? Yes, so this Happiest Season is basically a couple where they're, uh, one loves Christmas, one doesn't love Christmas. Their family don't know that they're together yet, nor do they know that their daughter is actually a lesbian. So they're, they're having this coming to dinner situation. It, it's a typical holiday film that you see with like the traditional tropes of the parents don't approve or they don't know about a relationship. So there's a lot of like skirting around, dancing around with their relationship, trying to hide it in some cases. Uh, Kristen Stewart is fantastic in it. It's got supporting ca uh, characters like Dan Levy, if you know from Chits Creek. Lo everyone loves him right now. He's mm -hmm. hot. He, he's so good in this. He just basically plays that character again and, and does it in such a good way. Um, it's the same theme as The Prom, where these are just really compelling characters, a really good story, and it just so happens to be that the characters are in the LGBTQ community. And, and that makes it even better because it's not necessarily hinged upon that. It's great story first. So you like the first two. Are we going to finish out strong with this third one? This one is rated PG. This is called Wolf Walkers. This is for kids, I think, that, that want to see a new type of animation. Uh, the, the animation, I'm looking at it right now, it is gorgeous uh, as far as, uh, you don't really see this type of animation style in, in films right now. Uh, it's starring as Sean Beam as a father that's going to take out a jungle of wolves. And the daughter finds out that there's people called wolf walkers that essentially go to sleep and then become a wolf. Mm -hmm. When they wake up, they become a person again, kind of shape-shifting. Um, it, it's a very heartfelt story, though. Teenagers, young kids, who's this for? I would say this is for teenagers, maybe if you appreciate the animation style, more for younger kids. It's definitely a powerful story. There are a few moments that might be a little too scary or a little, I, I, I call them more of like the crying moments where it's like, oh, this is too, too much. Too to much, hit. too so much. So maybe you're, if your kid's more sensitive to that, that might be tough, but it's a great animation. Patrick film. is so great with his reviews, everybody. Before you watch anything this weekend, hop on PatrickBeattyReviews.com or find him on social media and find him also right here on GTU. Uh, go to our website and we'll link you to his info. Brian, what's coming up next? Well, on GTU at 10, we keep the holiday cheer going with an encore performance from David Archuleta.